This is something you won't have seen before. It's the 2020 BMW X6 covered in the darkest man-made material ever made. Vanta Black absorbs 99.965% of light, making it the definition of darkness, the darkest man-made material on Earth. It is essentially the closest you can get to a black hole with virtually no light being able to escape from it. Vanta Black is made up of minuscule carbon nanotubes. When light hits the tubes, it is almost completely absorbed, with the tubes being so thin that photons, the particles that make up light, can't get in. The material on this car isn't quite the full 99.965 Vanta Black but is instead a sprayable material known as VBX2, which achieves 99% light absorption. That 1% definitely makes a difference in terms of picking out some of the shapes on the car, but it is still frighteningly dark. The human eye struggles to pick out shapes covered in Vanta Black, essentially rendering 3D structures into simple 2D shapes. Any other black surface, you can shine a torch at and be able to at least pick out some shapes and contours. But I've deliberately worn all black for this shoot to show the difference between a seemingly dark material and Vanta Black. Now to get Vanta Black onto a car you have to spray it and the sprayed material is slightly different to the carbon tube material. If you were to zoom in on this Vanta Black on this X6, you'd essentially see something resembling a coral reef. So the photons reach that coral reef and get trapped within it, meaning the light gets absorbed and you get this effect. So why is BMW covered this X6 in Vanta Black? Well, one of the new features on the car is this illuminated kidney grill. If it isn't massive already, why not illuminate it with light to really show it off? And the contrast between that and the Vanta Black is pretty striking. Although, from my perspective, I reckon they've covered it in Vanta Black because it's not exactly known as the best looking car they produce, so cover it in this material and it basically disappears. Having been around this car all day, I've been wondering what it reminds me of. Do you remember Batman Begins when Batman switches off all the lights on his Batmobile and he sneaks through the police traffic? This car can definitely do that. Another car BMW has released is the X5 Protection VR6, its latest armour-plated car. It's gained 800 kilograms to protect heads of state and ambassadors, and that means the total mass is 3.65 tonnes, all in the name of protection. Now, VR6 is its ballistic rating, which ranges from VR1 to VR10, so this car is built to deal with Kalashnikov rifles and hand grenades. That seems like enough. Possibly my favorite aspect of this car is the windows. There's five layers of glass there, which amounts to a 30 millimeter barrier. A Kalashnikov bullet is not getting through that. Also, there's steel brackets on either side of the window because on some armor-plated cars, if the other side of the car gets damaged, the pressure of an explosion can blow a window out, meaning a gun can get in and that's the end of you. So that will hold the window in place, keeping you as safe as possible. One of the quirkiest aspects of this car is in the boot. Say if you're a head of state or an ambassador, you can spec a very special button. If you were to be kidnapped in your own car, you can click that button and when the car comes to a stop, it shuts off the engine, locks the car and opens the boot. That means your kidnappers are locked in your own armor-plated car and you can run off and escape without them shooting you up. Not bad. A very unique request that customers have come to BMW about this car is that drone attacks are becoming more and more popular. That means the roof is a priority area to add safety. So an option on this car is to have an extra reinforced roof to deal with hand grenades being dropped by drones. Currently in the stock setup, it can deal with a Kalashnikov through the roof, but you can upgrade to that hand grenade spec. The X5 protection comes with BMW's 4.4 litre V8, which spits out 530 horsepower. And also, you can spec something called mobility preservation. 
If you think about a normal car, if you were to crash it or be in any sort of incident, it would shut the engine down and basically bring the car to a halt to keep you safe. But in a car like this, you want to be able to keep on the move no matter what's happening. So if you have a shunt, it's just gonna keep that engine going, meaning you can escape any and all situations. So if you're rammed or you are doing the ramming, you're absolutely fine in this car. Out of the two cars, I think the Vanta Black X6 was the coolest. But what car would you like to see covered in Vanta Black? Tell us in the comments below.